Hi, I'm Dr. Carpentier. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about neurotransmitters and how understanding what they do can be useful when we're trying to develop treatments for chronic pain. Nerves are not directly connected one to another, but rather they're connected through a synapse. This synapse is a small gap between the nerves, and this synapse is where the neurotransmitters function. The neurotransmitters take an electrical signal that has traveled down the nerve, turn it into a chemical signal, and transmit it to the next nerve in line, where it is then converted back into an electrical signal and sent on its way to the brain. The synapse and neurotransmitters are important to understand because this is where most of the medications that we currently use to treat pain work. I'm sure you've heard of things like serotonin or norepinephrine or dopamine. All of these are neurotransmitters. Their job is to transmit a particular signal from one nerve to the other. Having too much of one of these neurotransmitters could increase pain. Having not enough of some of these neurotransmitters can make pain worse. And we use medications to try and adjust the amount of neurotransmitter present in the synapse so we can impact the way the nerve functions and hopefully change the way you feel. Antidepressants act by increasing the amount of serotonin or norepinephrine in the synaptic space. And it turns out by changing the amounts of norepinephrine, we can also change pain. Some of the medications that we use to treat pain are specifically designed to leave the neurotransmitter norepinephrine in the synaptic space for longer, allowing the signal to be more strongly transmitted to the next nerve fiber up the line. Conversely, the neurotransmitter substance P actually aggravates pain, so our goal with medications to treat pain addressed at substance P would be to limit the amount of neurotransmitter in the synaptic cleft. Why does all of this matter? It matters because this is how we treat pain right now. This is how we change the way the nerves function right now. And the medications that are currently available to you will directly address the way neurotransmitters function in your nervous system. By understanding what the neurotransmitters do and understanding what medications change the way the neurotransmitters act, you can better target therapies for the treatment of a condition. It also helps you avoid overlapping or creating problems. For example, if you're using one norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor which serves to increase the amount of norepinephrine in the synapse, you wouldn't want to add another one that does the same thing because that could create problems. When you tailor medications, you try to tailor them to do different things so that one medication may address norepinephrine, another may address serotonin, yet another may address dopamine. All of these can work together synergistically or more effectively as a group than they would individually to make you feel better. It's why we use different medications sometimes to try and treat the same problem. We're basically attacking this problem from different points trying to make a big change by making a bunch of little changes. Again, I'm Dr. Carpentier. I hope this information on neurotransmitters has been helpful to you. I think it's important to understand this basic information. It helps you understand why we use the medications we do, how we combine the medications for greater effect, and why, if one particular medication doesn't work, it may eliminate an entire class of medication treatment options. I hope you're feeling better soon.